probably not so early for a lot of you guys. Probably super early for a lot of you too. But anyways, today is still a work day. I still have to go in and work, which I still will. But uh, schedule has changed just a little bit. We've got a new commander, so he doesn't really want us to be there super, super early. So normally I was going to work around, you know, 815, 820. Now I go to work around 845, 9 o'clock. Uh, my wife goes to work super early, and I take my daughter to her daycare. So, with that being said, I usually still wake up at seven o'clock. I get a nice, good eight hours of sleep, man. I'm usually in. I'm usually with my eyes closed no later than eleven, eleven thirty, man. That's about eight to, to. That's about seven to eight hours of sleep, man. So, real good sleep. I'm getting a lot of good sleep these days. <laughs> Don't want to brag to you guys. Some of you probably aren't getting any sleep, you know, but that's okay too because I've been there too. But I'm getting a lot of sleep these days, and sleep is definitely beneficial, man, for the games, man. You want to sleep, you want to rest. Um, if you want to get the best sleep, fix your posture and get everything straight. It's recommended to just lay flat on your back, man. Just sleep on your back. It's uncomfortable to a lot of people if you're not used to it, but laying on your back is definitely, definitely. A better way to keep some good posture and you know it's it's on google it's been google science all that so anyways uh today we are in the 180s again man 189.4 uh the last time i was 189 was actually two fridays ago before the vacation before i went to virginia so with that being said, when I went to Virginia for those two days, it kind of threw me off, man. It threw me off for a lot. And the thing about it is I was only gone for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and it threw me off for a complete week, you know. So keep that in mind when you're dieting down and you're traveling and doing all this and you want to still, you know, go on vacation and enjoy yourself. You got to keep in mind that you will be set back, you know. So you want to make sure that you give yourself that that time so you're not uh screwed up in the head when you do get set back you know so I'm, i feel good you know i'm not i'm not tripping about how i look tripping about my weight or anything like that i'm just grinding man getting the work done my calories are at 2500 right now i'm i think that's a, a more decent spot than you know 2800 2600 so 2500 is giving me about 200 to 210 protein it's giving me 300 carbs and it's giving me about 60 fat. So I think that's I think that's a good spot, man, because on a rough estimate, on a daily basis, I'm burning about maybe 26 to 2,700 calories. On a good day, maybe 28, you know, and that's just for the whole entire day. So by eating and only consuming 2,500 calories, uh, it puts me at about a 200 to 300 caloric deficit. So uh, 200 to 300 calories. Deficit. So I'm taking that, you know, and I'm feeling good. Uh, we're dropping weight every day, uh, just minor, little, but last night actually was a big jump. So I was, yesterday I woke up at like 192, and today I woke up at 189, so 189.4 to be exact. So it's all good. I'm feeling good, man. I like it, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a physique update real quick before I get my clothes on, before I start cooking breakfast and all that. So uh, let's get to it. So that's the physique right now, man. Feeling good. Uh, of course, we got water under the skin. Of course, we got a lot of different different variables affecting the physique, which is which is fine, man. We're cutting. This is what we're cutting for, you know. So I'm keeping my my macros constant right now, 2,500. I'm keeping it there. The uh, the cardio right now is it's a little funny. I'm trying to find a sweet spot for me to incorporate some decent, decent cardio, man, because I have switched up from like the push pull legs, full body split that I was doing. I was doing push pull legs, and then I was doing two days of cardio and abs, and I was also doing one day of full body. And I kind of switched off of that, so I did. So Monday I was on uh, chest and biceps, and then Tuesday I did uh, back and triceps. But that actually that didn't go down. So sorry. Monday was a rest day because uh, I had some things to do. Monday was a rest day. All I did was some hit cardio and some core. And then Tuesday it was chest and biceps. Wednesday it was back and triceps. And yesterday was a nice good leg day, man. So 
Oh, also leg day where I finally put back 405 on the bar for a box squat. So I got about three reps of that. So actually, I'll go ahead and insert that for you guys right here. It meant 405, man. The strength is still going up. I want my strength to go up all through this uh, this cut, man, because as you know, you're losing a nice chunk of strength while you're cutting down. So I want to try to avoid that this time around. I stopped doing squats about maybe january or february so bringing the squats back man i'm feeling good doing it man be happy about your progress man i tell a lot of people that you want to be happy about your progress do not feel like you don't need to uh maybe on your instagram express your progress because of what people might say or they might seem think you're bragging who cares man be proud of your progress man you, you you're grinding for a reason so if you want to showcase it showcase it man be proud of it you know so Get some support. That's what it's all about. I'll support you. I'll follow you. And I'll like your picture. So go ahead and uh, drop your Instagrams down below, man. I'll follow you. You got to follow me too, though. Hey, I'll follow back. But anyways. So, yeah, man. So I'm trying to find a nice... Today we're going to do shoulders. And I'm hoping to give you guys that shoulder routine, man. We're going to tear up the delts, man. So I'm trying to find a spot where I can do some cardio. I... Because it's, it's a little tricky because on Saturdays, you know, Saturday is more of a relaxed day, chill with the family. Uh, it might be a little different now because my son is away right now. So maybe I just have a little more free time on a Saturday to go ahead and to the gym. Because usually I don't go to the gym on Saturday. I just do my hit cardio at home, getting some abs. So I think what we're going to do now is we're probably just going to go ahead and do some cardio on Saturday. Or even throw a cardio day like throughout the week somewhere. And then still go to the gym on uh saturday and work out so whatever the case is man we'll figure it out so uh, i'm trying to find that spot because i want my calories to be at 2500 and in order for me to keep my calories there that means i'm going to need to throw in cardio increase cardio as the time goes by you know so that's the game plan so anyways man enough talking i, I showed you the physique uh, i need to go ahead and get ready for work uh after i get ready for work i usually whip up some breakfast and i'll show you guys that All right, guys, let me show you what I got right here in front of me. I got some cream of wheat, two servings of it. So for the cream of wheat, man, real good with the macros. It is only, what, 24 grams of carbs per serving. So I do 66 grams, which is giving me 48 carbs and eight protein. No fat at all. So that's why I roll with this, man. No fat at all. You know, your oats will give you that fat. But the oats also has some fiber that come along with it. I don't think the fiber in here is that good. Yep, just one gram per serving. But if you want to get in some iron and calcium, here you go right here. So the only thing I don't like about the cream of wheat is the consistency. See how blocky it is, you know. Um, you know, it depends on how you make it. Uh, I put water in it. They have instructions on here. I don't really follow the instructions too much. I pretty much treat it just like oats, man. So what I do for that is I throw on some cinnamon. Just regular old cinnamon. I throw some cinnamon on here. And I also do stevia. So stevia and cinnamon inside of the cream of wheat. And that's our carbs. All right, guys, I added more water. So... You can get rid of those little blocks if you go ahead and add more water. You got to keep stirring it a lot. Let me show y'all what I got. So, yesterday, I got me some duck eggs. Uh, a guy at my uh, a guy at my job has chickens and ducks at his home. And he said every morning he gets about th uh, three dozen eggs. So, he went in and hooked us up. Came to the office with three dozen. I grabbed me a dozen. If there are, if the other two dozen are in the refrigerator, refrigerator when I get there, oh, I'm grabbing those two. But anyways, so these larger eggs are the duck eggs. We got two, and we got two, so we got four duck eggs. And then this one's a little blue, a little different color, these two right here. And we got our brown eggs. So notice that the only difference from the different coloring of the eggs is only the breed of the chicken. Has nothing to do with the protein but the duck eggs do have a little bit more protein and no cholesterol like the, egg, the eggs do so there's no more eggs do so i'm gonna go ahead and whip up these duck eggs this morning and see how they taste all 
let me show you guys real quick how I get rid of my yolks. So I just crack all the eggs, all four of them, and they're all right there. A little tip, I can't remember who I got it from, but you simply just pick up your yolk with your spoon. And if you notice, all of the egg white will fall right off. Sorry, let me give you a better, let me give you a better demonstration. So here we go, got the egg right there. Look at the egg whites falling. So you still got to keep it constant and you got to make sure your yolk does not fall off of the spoon because it will. But you pretty much get all of your egg whites like that. So just a quick tip for you guys. And that might happen. So if that happens, just pick it up again or pick up a different one and do the same thing. Yeah, it's not it's not super easy, but it saves you from trying to crack the egg and just keeping the yolk inside of the shell. That's not that easy. That's how we do it. So yeah, you can it can take time and then the whites might not want to fall. Give it a little shake and that might happen. So let me go ahead and get these out. I want I just want one yolk, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these out and I'm gonna show you guys later. Alright guys, there we go. Four duck eggs. Uh, four duck egg whites. Three duck egg whites. One whole duck egg. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a taste test on how this uh, tastes. This is actually my first time having duck eggs. As you see, they don't look any different than normal eggs. Um, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. I normally put ketchup on my eggs, which most of you guys already know, but... For this purpose, I'm not going to put ketchup on my eggs. I'm going to refrain from that today. And that's because I don't want to jack up the original taste of the duck eggs. So yeah, they're pretty decent, man. It tastes just like regular eggs, man. Don't don't get it twisted. Um, but there's a lot of different, I guess there's different benefits from the duck eggs. And probably even some disadvantages possibly that make the uh, normal chicken egg way better. So uh, do the research. For me, I'm eating it. Um, I'm going to see if my fitness pal, if somebody has put in some uh, nutrition facts for duck eggs, hopefully. And it's marked with more protein. Because as you see, it was a very, very large egg. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in, man. Finish this plate. I already finished my cream of wheat. And then I got to uh, get my daughter up. It is 8 o'clock now. I'm going I'm to wake my daughter up, get her dressed, drop her off at school, and I'm going to head to work, man. So uh, let me get this in. Also, before I leave, I'm going to get in my uh, fish, fish and flax oil uh, capsules in. And I'm also going to get uh, my multivitamins. So I do two multivitamins a day, and I do three of these a day. So... You saw me uh, when I got closest to my show, I was doing about six of those fish oils a day. I was doing two per meal and I was doing three meals. It was three meals that I was doing two fish oil caps, man. And then I was still doing two more vitamins. I think it's super beneficial. Do not forget guys, I have been pescatarian since Monday, right? So Monday, nothing but seafood, man. Pretty much the vegetarian lifestyle, but I'm incorporating some eggs and I'm still eating my fish and things like that. So that's what dif differentiates me from a normal, just all the way out vegetarian. Okay. So let me show you guys what I got for lunch. Lunch is going to be super good. Uh, I had it last night and I'm going to have it for lunch. The leftovers. We got nine ounces of salmon right here. Uh, just seasoned up with uh, some sea salt. Some uh, pepper, garlic powder, uh, cayenne pepper. And then we got some uh, canned green beans. Do not jump in my comment section talking about the the sodium that's in there. Don't I do not care. I just see it's a little portion. I just do not care right now. So I got the um, canned green beans and I have 200 grams of sweet potatoes. We're bringing the sweet potatoes back because I have been lacking on fiber, man. The fiber, and I think because I switched over to the cream of wheat and stopped eating my oats that now I'm getting less fiber, which it makes sense, you know, cause the oats had the fiber in it that I was missing. So I'm bringing back the sweet potato. So I'm bringing back the sweet potato, good source of fiber, good source of uh, carbs. And it's also super good. And what I do for my sweet potatoes is I throw on some cinnamon, which I need to 
remember to take this to work and I throw on some stevia. So the same as I did with my cream of wheat, I do that to my sweet potato. It makes it super good. So uh, I, I usually also do peanut butter. Uh, I'm not going to take my scale to work and so it's going to be hard for me to weigh out my peanut butter. So I will not be putting peanut butter on those, but they're fine without it. So anyways, that's, that's the salmon, man. So like I said, man, since Monday, man, I've been pescatarian, me and my wife. My main reason of, of doing this is to support my wife. She wanted to try it out and see what it does for her. And so I'm all I'm all aboard. I mean, if we're in the household together, uh, there's no need to make all these different food items like for dinner and things like that, which we were doing when I was on prep. So we're not going to do that now. Uh, if she wants to be pescatarian or try out the pescatarian lifestyle, we'll do that. So that's what we're doing. Uh, if you, you Google uh, Mark Lobliner and uh, you got Mike Rashid, they are pescatarians as well. Um, so you can Google them, watch them on YouTube and see how how it's changed their life and what it's doing for them. I'm not really into it 100 right now, so I really can't speak on too much of the benefits and how it helps with bodybuilding and, and weight loss and all that. So uh, I won't do that. So look, go to their channels and you figure that out. But we're doing that and I mean, it's, it's been feeling good. I mean, I like, I like tilapia, I like salmon, I like shrimp. So I'm having no problem just eating that. I mean, I just cut the shrimp, I mean, cut the chicken out, cut the ground turkey out, cut the ground beef out, man, we're good to go. So. Uh, let me finish these eggs up, man. I need to head to work, so I'm going to catch you guys probably at the gym. So stay tuned.